One of the great paradoxes of, of, of quantum theory was that uh, when you do what's called quantum field theory and you calculate the energy of the very lowest state, so you take everything away, what's the energy of the lowest state should be zero, but it turns out to be infinite. And that's quite a paradox. And it either tells us that it truly is infinite or there's some deep misunderstanding on the part of physics about what that vacuum field is. So I would say, to me, it's an open question. And one possibility is, is that connected with ideas of active information? This is a proposal that, um, that the universe is filled with an activity of information. And the electron and, and all the elementary particles, what they are, are processes unfolding out of this field and folding back in again. And they're guided, this folding and unfolding is guided by an activity of information. So it tells us at the very deepest level, there's an activity of information. And it tells us that the deepest level then, something mind-like, which you could call proto-mind, was present from the beginning of, of the cosmos. So proto-mind was present and maybe helped to guide the evolution of matter as matter became more complex. And finally you got, you got you got first life and first you you know the first mammals and then finally consciousness. As maybe that 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 is is is, is not a pure chance process. We're not talking about uh, about intelligent design or create a god or anything like that. But just that 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 mind and matter are a unity. They're one. They're like that. And and the mind was helping the evolution of matter.